Hello guys, let's get some math in our report. I'm going to put in the math uh, here in the appendix, and let's just get right into it. So, uh, a lot of you probably are using LaTeX for the math writing capabilities, and LaTeX is really good at writing math, and that's why a lot of people use it. So, for example, you, you, you could do a few things with math. For example, you can write math right in with a sentence. So if I were to save this and build this, what I find is I get my equation here right inside in line with the text. Now, you might not want that. You might want your mathematical equation to be separated from the text. And a way you go about doing that is you write two dollar signs. All of your math that you write has to be within dollar signs for it to be converted into math mode like it is here. So that's how you differentiate between math and text. So if I wanted to have math, and then so here we go with two dollar signs, not in a sentence, I could do this. And if I do that, what you find is that the equation is isolated uh, from the text when you use the double dollar signs. So there's a few things you can do with math. So for example, we can use symbols in our math formulas. And LaTeX has the capability of doing Greek, if you wanted to, uh, all kinds of different symbols. So for example, let's say if we wanted a fraction, we use frac. Uh, we could use the h-bar symbol. If, let's say if you're doing some quantum mechanics, do regular symbols. Uh, you can have it multiply by another fraction simply by space two fractions apart like that. Uh, let's say if we wanted to do a derivative, we could do that as well. And let's say dx squared and what is this equal to? This is equal to, oh, this is equal to e psi. So if I build that, you'll see what you have here is an equation with a variety of different symbols in it, and you can control all of that using math mode. Uh, other th fun things you can do is chemistry equations. And the way you go about doing that is first you're going to want to import a package. So going up to the top here, let's create some math preamble. And the math preamble that we're going to use is use package uh, MH chem, I believe. So this allows us allows us to write chemistry equations. All right. So going back down, uh, let's do a chemistry equation. Chemistry equation. So an example equation that we could write. Uh, first to start a chemistry equation you want to use CE and then you can start. So uh, we're gonna have one chemistry equation in the curly brackets and let's do something like this. So uh, an underscore denotes a super uh, underscript and uh, if we want to include something like 4 here, let's just build this, show you how it looks. We have our CH4. If I wanted to also denote that this is a gas and I put in brackets the G for gas, you'll see that it doesn't build correctly. Um, for the subscript to work correctly, you have to put it in its own set of curly brackets. And if you do that, you see everything works well here. So progressing along with this equation, more examples. So we can do uh, that. And then uh, if we wanted our arrow symbol for an equation, let's say we're evolving, we're actually combusting here, we can continue and add in more to finish this equation. H2O underscore liquid. So 
if I build that, oh my goodness, curly brackets. So if I build that, we have our uh, combustion equation here of methane. So you could write chemical equations if you wanted to. It's all kinds of things you can write. Uh, going back into your regular math mode, uh, let's show you how you could do fractions. So starting off with a new equation here, let's say kinematics. So I believe it's D equals your initial velocity times time plus so I'm gonna go 1 over 2 and I'll show you what happens here so multiplied by acceleration times time squared so if I build this this is how it shows up in math mode now you might not like that you might want uh, this kinda looks like text this one half here uh, you could use your standard fraction like I've shown you before so that's where you go frac and then in the first set of uh, curly brackets we put our first number which would be the one the numerator and then the denominator goes to the second set and if we do that we have our you know one over two now let's say if you wanted one slash two kind of like before but less text mode looking uh, to do that what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to import another package and this is the x frac package so I'm gonna add that now use package X rack. Uh, fractions. So if I were to, the uh, command that you would use for a slanted fraction is S frac. And if I put that in, you see all of a sudden it's in line with the rest of the text and we have our one half. So you might want to use that, let's say if you're writing a recipe or something, one half cup of milk or whatever. Uh, it allows you to do that. Moving on, uh, something else that's important that I haven't shown you yet here is the use a, of brackets. So, brackets. Um, let me just blow this up a bit for you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, brackets. So, how do brackets work? Let's say we have the equation uh, math mode frac 1 over 2. Uh, c dot 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so let's say if we wanted to put brackets around this one half, one thing you could do is you could just use your regular brackets, your regular parentheses, but you'll see what happens is that the parentheses don't go up all the way around the fraction. How do you get around doing that? Well, first you're going to specify your left bracket, and then you're going to specify your right bracket. And it understands what that means. So you go left, parentheses, and then you write whatever's in your parentheses, and then left, parentheses. I'm just spacing it out here so that you can see it. Spaces don't affect the math. So uh, this is how you would go about doing it. You can use other symbols, not just parentheses. So for example, let's say we wanted to do uh, left and absolute value of negative 7, right, finishing that off is equal to 7, and if we were, to, oh no, there we go, if we were to do that, then we could say the absolute of negative 7, and it allows us to do that. Moving on, uh, let's say you want to write x squared, okay, so x squared, nothing too surprising here. Let's say if you want to write uh, x squared cubed so that the squared is cubed. You can't just go 3 here because it's not going to work. Again, this is if you wanted it to the 23, you would have to do that. But let's say if we wanted it like that. That's also not going to work. Okay, good. Uh, so what you're going to have to do there is, as you can imagine, use your curly brackets and there we go, we have x squared uh, to the power of 3. Uh, some other symbols you can use that you'll probably find common is square root. So square root is equal to 2. Double check my math here, make sure I'm not making it up. Okay, so if you want the square root, uh, you can do that. You can put this inside of a fraction if you want. Uh, it doesn't just have to be equals either. There are all kinds of different... Uh, 
symbols you can use, for example, not equals, which is any Q, Q, uh, save and build. Or if you wanted to, you could say square root of four is less than five. And if we do that and build that, then we get that as well. Moving along, um, you could do different symbols as well. Like I've already shown you some of the Greek symbols, but let's say if you want pi and you want to say it's approximately equal to three, which is how I interpret it, uh, you can import that. And um, there are other symbols you could use as well. Let's say instead of using asterisk or something like that, because that looks terrible, or let's say you don't want the C dot, you want it right out like times because you like the uh, because you like it like that, and you could write that out as well. So there's all kinds of things uh, you can write out in math mode, and it's really easy. Like I didn't cover everything here; I just covered a handful of the topics. But you can definitely look it up online. A lot of people use tech for uh, math, and so there are great resources that teach you. Say, if you want the square root, just type in like square root of tech, and you'll be able to figure it out. In the next video, I'm going to go over formatting. So sometimes you get numbers off to the side of your equations, or you want your symbols here, your equal symbols, to line up perfectly. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. See you then.